welcome back to part three to our watch along to Eek the Tiger. Or it might be Ta Tiger, not the Tiger. It's Ta Tiger. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see a very cut of version, just like the other parts. If you haven't seen the other parts, you can just go watch those parts. Uh, if you'd like to see a full uncut version, though, know, you can have it to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below and the comment. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and um, uh, uh, our thoughts about it, obviously, at the end. So let's just get into this, huh, Zach? Yeah. <laughs> now we're actually going to do it. <laughs> He's badass. Look at that. How many guys are there? And now you gotta break her out of jail. What are you gonna do now? You have to break her out. She's your dearest love. She followed his his mind for so long. He has to follow his heart. If you have to kill him, you'll kill him. I'll call you back. I'll be a little bit. I'll be a little bit. How can you run with a Pakistani? Gopi, you know that Zoya can give us so much information. अंदाजा है ना तुझे जोया हमारे साथ हिंदुस्तान चलने के लिए तैयार है तू चाहता है कि हम क्यूबा में आईएसआई को अटैक करें और वो भी क्यों एक लड़की भगाने के लिए लड़की डब्लू तो बड़ा भाभी भाभी किया जा रहा था जब से पता चला कि पाकिस्तानी है रेसिस्ट बबलू तुम इस पॉइंट पर और जैसे याद रहे तुम उन्हें यहाँ से ब्लॉक करोगे टाइगर ये ले नाइस को भी अबे साले नाइस दो घंटे में हमारी फ्लाइट निकलने वाली है एयरपोर्ट पहुँचकर कोई ऐसी वैसी हरकत ना करे तो बेहतर होगा ओह ही वांट शी वांट्स वी वांट दे वांट और आपका वो हिंदुस्तानी दोस्त We'll see about that. Come on, come on! That guy was oh, really geez. a big cheese. They almost took off their heads. That was a convertible. That's a risky plan if they didn't duck. Hey, go and get out of this one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My goodness. Ow. I freaking love this movie. <laughs> Get that plane. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that poor motorcycle guy. <laughs> Just driving along, minding his own business. <laughs> That's called a biplane. That's Bai's plane. It's a biplane. <laughs> Sir, I don't know if you saw. He uh, knocked a guy out on a motorcycle with one hand. You think he got stop him? Huh? The guy tried to stop him. I was like, you? He knocked out one guy on a motorcycle with one hand. You think you're gonna stop him? He's gonna shoot the gasoline. Yep. Oh, and then he's gonna get them. And he's gonna shoot the hole. 
tem, então. Wow, you're a bad agent. <laughs> Stormtrooper agents. I'm confused though, but his buddy is his buddy trying to look like? Huh? His buddy was on his side, but now he's shooting at He him. was. Oh, ouch. He got shot, didn't he? Oh, jeez. Bai told him that she was coming back to India with him, and then he went like this, uh, and he was going he was going against that, his that plan. Makes sense. He, he just uh, used him. Fucking shot him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, I ain't gonna do this. Hurry up, bye. He's gonna Tom Cruise it. Your your dearest love is leaving. Oh, he Tom Cruise oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> wow, she is turned on. I love it when a gonna... man hang, hangs off the side of my plane. <laughs> While he's bleeding out. I was, I shot in the ribs. Yeah. Mile high agents. Mile High Club. That's the yep. Mile High Club. Gotta do it. Get it, get it. Don't smile at him. Ma'am, he's he needs dying. first aid. <laughs> he needs your help. Bolo Avinash Singh Rathod. Sir Pahili Bar. Apne Mujim Asli Nam Sibulai, sir. पहली बार तुमने अपनी असलियत दिखाई है नहीं सर दुश्मन से प्यार करना गद्दारी है सर जब प्यार हो रहा था तो किसने बताया नहीं कि दुश्मन है और जब प्यार हो गया तो समझ नहीं आया कि दुश्मन क्यों है पोएट्री बाय पोएट्री जिस दिन इंडिया और पाकिस्तान में और आईएसआई की जरूरत नहीं होगी उस दिन हम वापस आ जाएंगे That ended quick. Yeah. Then there's this is the end song. There's usually an end credit song in a That's lot of cool. Bollywood films. So I don't know if I noticed that before. Just depends on the ones you've seen. I don't know how many big Bollywood films you've seen. You know, like a couple. Yeah. Is there an end credit scene? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. This is probably the end credit, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's just pelvic thrust in there. <laughs> you imagine uh, Vin Diesel, somebody of a similar build, doing yeah, like a big no. Bollywood dance song. I don't think I don't think it would look as good. He makes it look cool. He makes it look like it's fighting. She makes it look great too, but just by making it look great. Yeah. Mashallah. 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 This is going to be my go to dance now. Ooh, I can do that. That's what that's what was happening. Now my back immediately. Immediately my lower back is gone. They didn't kiss, did they? We never saw them actually like that that's incredibly common, especially back in the uh this day. This is what I think twenty twelve eight or twenty twelve, when did I say twenty twelve yeah. I I forget what year it was. But yeah, twenty twelve, yeah. It does happen, but especially with these older stars, culture, like if that was a this, culture thing. This star and then like Shah Rukh Khan, the two of the big stars of their time, yeah, especially. Um, Shah Rukh Khan definitely doesn't kiss. He does not kiss in his films. He've done. He, I think he did it once in one film, but he has a no kissing contract, so he does a lot of net kissing. I think. I think in this one, I did see like kiss on the cheek, uh -huh. but that was about it. I don't um, know if he has a, a a kiss thing as well, like similar okay. to him though. I respect that, but I just find it interesting. Especially yeah, yeah, in a no. rom romantic kind of movie. 
I didn't I didn't notice just because I'm I'm kind of used to yeah it it now I'm used to full on makeup yeah I'm full on full on like makeup right away I'm so uh, let me pull you so, up I mean, here I'll pull you up here because so because it's you gonna pull me up yeah pull you up if you know what I'm saying um no uh I was super I wasn't expecting it to end there actually. <laughs> Really? I thought it was going to keep going. I thought, like, one, uh, obviously we filmed this in two parts, but uh, two hours is pretty darn short for an Indian film. No, that's uh, true. That's a, that's a very short Indian film, especially a big action. Well, not, I would I would call this more of a romance with some action in it. <laughs> like, it's bookended. It's bookended with action. The beginning had some action, and the end had some action, Everything in the middle is like the the love peanut butter jelly. Yes, it's very much like how Rocky. You think it's a rock? You think it's a boxing movie? Oh but yeah, really? It's a romantic movie. It's a romantic yeah. movie. Yeah. So this is probably marketed towards action. I what? loved it. Yeah, well, you enjoyed that one. I did because it, it was cheesy as hell, but like <laughs> it, it seemed like it was, it was. Uh, like it meant to be. Like it seemed like it was paying homage to a lot of typical spy movies. Yeah. Um, it definitely it took inspiration. Sp- yeah, a lot of inspiration, but it wasn't a spy movie. Like it was, but that wasn't yeah. the whole, that wasn't yeah. the main thing. Like you said, it was it's a romance romance movie. It, it was it, barely it was fun. a spy movie. What was that? What's that movie with Tom Cruise? Was it Night and Day? Yeah, very much Night and Day. Is it something like that? Right? Yeah. Like, no, where... Night and Day. Yeah, it's him and uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah. It, and I don't remember much about it. I know I've seen it, but like I saw the movie theaters once. I didn't care for it, but it's very much well. It's a the, it's a very common spy thing. Spy falls yes. in love. Now he needs to get out, and obviously the agencies doesn't want him to be alive he because he, fir- he, knows he broke too much. his first rule. He got too close. Yeah, it's probably the number one the spy theme in spy movies. It happens all the time, but it looks like they took like they knew that they knew they weren't reinventing the reinventing the wheel. Um, and they like really doubled down on like the action and the cheesiness of those spy things. Like when he kept uh, flashbacking to all yeah, those spy stuff. I was not expecting a fourth wall break in this film. Yeah, he kept staring uh, at you. A lot <laughs> of I, stuff was very like, you know. I like that it didn't take itself seriously for sure. Yeah, that was the big thing. I mean, uh, it was but, a fun movie. It was but fun. But I thought. I actually thought it had some really good action in it for for the time in Bollywood, which didn't have a ton. of It it had some, but it didn't have like they're not, they are doing it now. They're doing it a ton now. Like, yeah, and this, this was twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve in Bollywood. Uh, he might have done the airplane scene before Tom Cruise. Honestly, when was hey, the? Uh, I'm trying to remember that, but I think it was before. I think it was after twenty twelve. I have to look into that. Um. But, um, you're right. The, the t- for the time in Bollywood, it's just not done as much. Like it's done all. Like there's been just this year, Shah Rukh Khan has had two massive action films. One was Bataan, which is in the same universe as Tiger. I like that I, multiverse. I like that. I, t- Tiger made a cameo in the movie as well. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, that's the first time that's I saw. I, awesome. I ever, I ever really saw cool. Tiger. Uh, it was a, it was a great sequence. That's the first. Oh my god, Zach died. Guys, it's action. Huh? We're talking about action. Things are happening. Um, and like, and then the, there's another big one called Jawan, uh, which, which is uh, another big action film with Shah Rukh Khan. Same thing. Um, and they had... and you saw those and were those good? Yeah, yeah. Um. They were pretty good. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy them. Um, they're the big and massy Bollywood, current massy Bollywood. Um, okay. so it's very different. This had a very almost American feel to it, uh, a little at, at times. Um, so there's some certain things Indians like in big mass movies that aren't normal for um a Western okay. viewer who's not accustomed to it. And so that who knows if you like all all of it, but I think you'd enjoy both of them um just fine. Especially Bataan. I think Bataan was uh, in that vein, especially since it's connected to the universe. But now Tiger, like that. Tiger 3 is coming out. So there's a second Tiger film. I got the second one. Yeah, Tiger 3 comes out November 12th. Uh, oh. And the trailer was awesome. Don't look up the trailer because um, 
uh, we'll probably watch the second one here soon. Okay. Um, I'll watch the second one. But um, yeah, I enjoyed a lot about it. I, I thought there was some really good stunt work. I thought, um, and we haven't seen a ton of uh, by here, Salman Khan. We've seen a few of his. We've seen um, Baji Bajan and then another one. I've seen him in supporting in a few things in like the 90s. Okay. Um, he's been doing it a while. But yeah, he's been he's been at it a, a, long, a long time. But this was probably one of his better performances along with Baji Bajan. I thought he was pretty grounded in this, uh, which was good. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like the, the cheesiness wasn't the acting. The acting was. Oh no, it was definitely what they, with the, with the direction that they decided to go with it. Katrina Kaif, I love Katrina Kaif. Um, she's a she's a very good actress. I like her a lot. Um, you'll yeah. I don't think I've seen any of these. You haven't seen anything of either of these guys. Um, the few but movies I've seen. He's married to another actor who's a phenomenal actor, one of the best young actors. Well, he's young. I say. Yeah, I think he's like thirty-seven. Um, in in all of India, he's his name is a uh, Vicky Koshal. Um, he's sounds, he's really good, sounds... but she is. Uh, I like her a lot. I like their chemistry a lot. I thought they had a they had good chemistry. They I wanted chemistry. I wanted them to get together. I was rooting for them. Um, I thought she did good stunt work. I think the stunt work is just going to get better. Um, in the next, the, yeah, the fight scenes, the choreograph were actually they were pretty seamless like they were actually really really good i did I mean, miss some of go ahead I mean, some of the um graphics and some yeah, of yeah. that was a little a little off like even the airplane one but uh when they came down to just like like also i was noticing a lot of his stunts looked like him like him yeah, jumping yeah. off things uh, him driving that was his face not, not her fall though <laughs> No, 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 she died. <laughs> was... Whoever played whoever played her falling is dead or just crit- in critical. Like she was like she was going like this head first. This was about 2012. To... She she's been in a coma for 10 years. <laughs> but she's uh, yeah. She's a cat always lands she's on her just feet. landing on her. I don't feet. know how she does it, but she did it. Um <laughs> it was a fun been. movie though. Uh it was very fun. Um, I I did miss in the second half some of the humor that they had in the first half. I was I was looking for more of that, uh, but obviously they I think they had to get some of the spy stuff and the the comedy was a little more of the setup for the love aspect yes. of it all. I think now you have the conflict and of like where the story was heading and trying to get together, but it was still there's still funny moments with like I think it was I think it was meant to be funny some of the action scenes like him jumping out of the car and sliding on the. Them both were sliding on the door. I thought that was hilarious. Oh yeah, um, it was just over thought, the top. I thought that I thought that ended kind of abruptly a little bit. But it um, did seem like there's it set it it's set up for. Sequels. Oh yeah, like I could see why when you it, told me it was a th- there's a third one coming out, I could see why. And I kept uh, going. And so I guess it's gonna f- keep following them. I don't know. I I guess that's the story, it's, right? I'm guessing in my head in my head that I'm going to say out loud with my mouth is uh, they're, they're, you know, doing their own thing. And then one of their agencies, probably his, probably raw needs him and her for a specific case. And they go find them to have them save something. Okay. Why can't I find the second one here? Just, Someone? just going off of all the movies, all the spy movies I've seen. Like, oh, we need tiger. This is a tiger. Or an enemy from Tiger's Pass is coming back. Oh wow! So the second one didn't come out till 2017. Holy crap! So, so that 14, 15, 16, 17, five years until the five sequel? years in between the two. That's not unheard of, but that is insane. It's I mean, directed that's a, by that's a lot of it's, time. The second one's not directed by the same so guy as the first one. Ali uh, Abbas Zafar directs the second. Who is actually a big. Um, bollywood action director as well okay. um but it's so it's, maybe it was heavier in action that's interesting that so i can also see because like this one set, definitely was set up the romance and maybe the second or third one since they already got the romance is gonna be more action heavy so this is the synopsis on indb inspired by real events this is for the second one Tiger Zine to High is a sequel to the blockbuster Eek the Tiger and an espionage action drama that follows a daring rescue mission in Iraq. 
Okay. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to even address it. Like that's happened before. Like they just didn't address. Yeah, it's just like anything. It's not a new movie like with... all the questions you had, they're like, no, nah, they're fine now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. Is she even in it? Yeah, she is. Okay, good. So maybe they will. But yeah, no, they do that all the time in movies. Yeah, they're both. Uh, they're both on the poster of it. Um, looks big. It looks. Uh... You know the movie. Um... Uh, Escape from uh, New York with uh, Kurt Russell. It's like 80s. No. Snake Plisson. He's got a eye patch. Anyway, it's a big. It was a big action movie. 80s. It's him. It's, they. Make, it's a future where they make New York a prison. Basically, the whole city is a prison, and he has to go in there to save the president or the president's daughter, something like that. Anyways, ten years later. They made a sequel in 1990, 1991, a called Escape from so Vegas or Escape from L.A. Uh-huh. And they did the same thing in California, where you're from. So it's not unheard of that it's like 10 years or five, I mean, five years uh, for a sequel. It's just that is that is a lot of time. Yeah, I hope the. um because I'm sure the the obviously the one in, that's coming out this year obviously probably is going to have a thousand percent better VFX and stunts than what they had in 2012. You would hope, right? Uh, and they should, because um, uh, th- this is a whole spy universe. So Baton no, is what I told you, but there's also another film with another star. It's called War, uh, yeah. which is also a spy kind of one. It's with Rithik Roshan. I don't know if I don't think you've seen anything with Rithik in it. He's a, he's basically called the Greek god of India, and he looks like it. Um, but he, that's another that's in the same universe as well. See, I love that. I love it. So that's, it's a big it's a big spy it's a universe. Shared shared universe. But Tiger's the one that started it all. So you said it was 2017 is the sequel. 2017 is the sequel. So it's yeah. like six years after that they made the third one. So that's just they're just taking their time. Yeah. And but they've made War came out, which was the second uh, uh, also in the universe that came out. Two, I'll have to watch all those three years ago, maybe. And then Patan, uh, which is Shahrukh Khan, which Tiger was in, um, was uh, came out in January of this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a it's a big and. <laughs> Uh, I don't That's know. awesome. I don't know if you want me to spoil it. Spoil this. <laughs> yeah, they're going to because it's there's a next one called Tiger versus Patan. <laughs> I'm already. I haven't seen the other one. But that's freaking awesome. So, so Batman, they're gonna find out that their mom has the same name. They've played brothers many times. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Uh, well, I don't know many times. They definitely played brothers before in movies. Um, wow. So they're setting up like it. And then the, it's going to be them versus, and then they're going to, of course, any versus means that the they're going to work together. When you have two heroes versing each other, that means towards the end they're going to have to realize their differences, work together to stop a common co- a common goal. Well, Batman currently, versus Superman. Currently, Captain America. Friends. Oh, so they're going to fight. They're turning from friends to enemies. To I lovers. get well. Current, like in the current. I, I don't know what's going to happen if like something happens in Tiger 3, if Baton is in Tiger 3. Um, but currently, they're friends. Interesting. Yeah. I thought uh, that happened in uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. They started oh, yeah? fighting each other, and then they had to work together to fight the robot Godzilla. But yeah, I thought it was a really fun movie. I uh, I enjoyed it. It was, it was quite nice. It, yeah. It's good when... Uh, Films that I've heard a lot about in terms of like they're they're big. A lot of people love them. Turn out to be ones that I enjoyed as well because it's happened before. Where it, that's not the case. Um, so that's it is always... hard, especially growing. I mean, growing up with you know the Western films and action films. I mean, which is a ton of. I mean, the eighties was all action. Yeah. Uh, to compare, but what they did, I think, was really smart. Is one, it wasn't too much an action film, but yeah, the action, action that they film. did have, one was the fight scenes were really good, but two, they really were like, we know some of this stuff is ridiculous, but we're, mm-hmm. we're like in our action movies, they played off like, no, this is, this is real life. And people are like mm-hmm. ripping arms off of each other. 
they played it off as like we know this is silly we're just having fun yeah and i i, I know i led with uh that it was an action film but it turned out to be more of a romance which with I'm some romance action which film. i don't know what genre you like more what do you like you like romance or do you like action more i'm pretty sure those are like two of your favorite genres though yeah as i get older romance um, romance it's always been romance but action it's i need a little more story i can never get into, i never got to the john wicks and never got into the Did you watch them, i watched the first one and i was like yeah, i'm good yeah. i enjoy john and, wicks. and I, I just watched the first one this year i enjoy fast and, and furious they... all the fast and furious i've only ever seen tokyo drift that was the last one i saw all the mission impossibles they all, it just they all become they start becoming the same thing um I don't know, people really love come. people really love those Mission Impossible. I've only seen one and three. I one, two, and three, and then I saw the one with Henry Cavill because I like Henry, and he had a mustache. Apple Cavill is that how he pronounces it? Does he? Like, I'm pretty sure yes. it's Apple. No, I'm pretty sure it's Cavill. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, I think he does Cavill. I I go back. I've only it. ever heard him called Henry Cavill, okay. but whatever. You might like That's him good. more than me just a uh, superman um anyways yeah that was a that was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed our watch along uh of i hope e- part two is worth the wait well you're just talking to Patreon patreons on, i'm just uh, talking to psh, everyone else go away on, on youtube they they my get patreon. it at the same time my patreon I'm, so, I'm sorry it was my fault i hope it was worth the wait um if you obviously, if you saw this on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version of our reaction. If you'd like to see the full uncut versions, though, you can head to Patreon. The uncircumcised the, version. Up the link description below and the pinned comment. Let us know what the next watch along we should do with Zachary Andrew Charles Kieslich is. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back, <laughs> baby. We should, uh, you should uh, catch up, uh, make Jesse watch the first one, and then we can, we can, yeah, yeah. we can I mean, all we can three watch, watch the, uh, the second one. He like it. He's he's me, just a little younger, and so he'll like he like all this, the this action and the romance. Look out for me here I come. Is there any Hollywood? Hey, do they do Halloween? Is there any Halloween movies in India? Yeah. Oh, you mean like spooky movies? Yeah, because it's Halloween season. Uh they it's the two most unexplored genres that they really haven't perfected yet are sci-fi and horror. Sci-fi. Uh, that's my. I think that might be why. Yeah. They. Yeah. They. They don't do either a lot. They've done it a few times, but they haven't really perfected it. Um. There's. I mean, just they've done a few that I, I've enjoyed. Like there's a film called Boot, uh, that's really good. There's a folk horror that's called Tombad. Uh, it's really that's probably the best one. Uh, I've seen. There's a great anthology on Netflix called um Ghost Stories. Okay. Uh, that's actually I just watched that. It's it's freaking fantastic. Three it's four uh four shorts, uh horror shorts. Okay. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh I get that, back into it. That, that one was nice. But yeah, they've done it a, a few times, but it, those are the two genres that I wish India would start exploring a lot more. Yeah. I get uh, it. Horror and sci-fi. Anyways, let us know what the next watch along with Zach should be. And uh yeah, that on the next watch along. <laughs>